wait. That must be because I forgot to use the honorable harvest. What is the honorable harvest, you may ask? Well, I'm so glad you're tuned in with me today. My name is Shelby, and today I will be introducing an important concept taught through a unique and special herb, stinging nettle, or Urtica diosia. That's its Latin name. It's a plant of wonder. It's native and wild. Don't get too close though, until the honorable harvest has been taught. I personally learned the honorable harvest through nettles, and today I use nettle to teach it to you all. So how did the plant sting me? Why would it do that? Great question. Stinging nettle got its name because of its ability to inject pokey hairs that feel like a sting when they touch you. So why would the plant sting us? Why would we use it then? I'm happy you are thinking about this. Stinging nettle is a plant that has this formic acid at every little tip. The little tips are super delicate and when they break off into your skin, it injects the formic acid and it makes your skin so itchy. The plant does this because nettle while it's trying to protect itself from predators. At first, the plant doesn't realize that we aren't there to harm it. But within seconds of realizing what it's done to us, it gives us another acid, a medicine, to counteract the sting. This acid is made from a polyphenol. This polyphenol is like a, made from a cholinergic acid. It's an antihistamine, and antihistamine means anti-allergy, basically. Okay, okay, so now we know why the plant stings us, but why are we using it then? We're using it because it's medicinal. Stinging nettle is nutritious, delicious, medicinal, and it can be used to make rope. <laughs> yes, this, this ouchy, pokey plant and that is why we want to always use the honorable harvest we do not always think our actions matter very much so we do not always give thanks back when we do this with mother nature she gets hurt and she does not want us to continue think of how i was being at the beginning of this lesson where i was touching nettle rushing through not using the honorable harvest i was stung when we rush through our harvesting and we don't show patience, we are likely to get stung. So now I can introduce the honorable harvest. The honorable harvest is an important Native American practice. It's introduced by Robin Wall Kimmer in her book called Braiding Sweetgrass. It's an important practice for us to not only remember but practice because it ensures that we act as stewards of our land. Stewardship it's looking out for another, taking care and responsibility of others as if it's your duty to support this. Now in our case, this is of the land. So here's the lessons. The first lesson of the honorable harvest is to ask permission. The second lesson of the honorable harvest is never take the first plant discovered. This is because if you haven't discovered others yet, you might be taking the only one. So we're protecting the colony for future use by not taking the first one. Now the next lesson of the honorable harvest is to never actually take more than one fifth of all plants that you see growing. Now when you're only harvesting a fifth of what's there, we really are stewards of the earth because we are truly protecting that colony from extinction. The next lesson of the honorable harvest is to leave no trace behind. We do this because otherwise others, they might discover our spot. Not only might they harvest themselves, but they might do so without knowing the honorable harvest. So if we do harvest, Let's make sure we look at it as if we didn't touch the place. Now the next lesson of the honorable harvest is to 
actually harvest that material right there in place. By doing this and only taking home the parts that you're needing, we ensure that Mother Nature hasn't gone to waste. What I mean is don't get a ton of your friends together and others and get them to help you harvest and load up on your bags and then just go home. Don't do this because the time it takes alone to harvest that material, it may have gone bad or to waste. So by taking off the unwanted parts right there in place, we're ensuring Mother Nature has not gone to waste. Okay, now the last principle of the honorable harvest. It's to give thanks. Why might we do this? Think about how excited and thankful you are when you're giving gifts. So do you think Mother Earth likes gifts? The Honorable Harvest teaches us that Mother Nature indeed does appreciate gifts and thanks. An example of this could be Let's say you harvested nettles following the first five principles, and then you leave behind a gift of shells. Did I just say shells? <laughs> yes. Just like humans, plants, they have minerals. Nettle has calcium. And by putting a shell at the feet of the remaining nettles, it's giving them a calcium source, which makes them happy. Nettles have calcium, magnesium, potassium, protein, and the seeds. They even have little bits of essential fatty acids, which are good for our brains. Is everyone having fun learning? Are we all ready to go honorably harvest some nettles then? I need to share with you where we can find them growing then. So do you have any ideas? Might it be the desert? The beach, the forest, you got it. Stinging nettle can be found all throughout the world, showing up in open fields and wet forests. They love the rich soil, so you can find them where you find the rich, wet forests. Stinging nettle is actually in the Urticaceae family. You can find nettle because of its dark green leaves. They have serrate margins with tiny clear hairs that stick out. You can also spot nettle because of its leaves pointing opposite and they grow around the stem. You can also find tiny little, little flowers and stem, or uh, flowers and seeds sometimes that hang below the stem and leaf. So when you look for nettle, now you know what to look for in the forest. So to close today's lesson, I leave you with this. When we are rushing through our harvesting, like I was at the beginning of the lesson, I was stung. Nettle reminds us to be patient with ourselves. When we avoid rushing, like I was at the beginning, with nettle, it's likely that we will not get stung. When we're present with ourselves, with nettle, think of these questions. What state of mind am I in right now? How are these emotions helping me right now? What are these feelings teaching me? All right, everyone. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope everyone has learned something new today. Enjoy the delicious, nutritious herb that I've taught you and go have fun. Goodbye.